Good morning, this is Wayne Belau with another Smart Profit Maximizing Moment. Today we're going to talk about sales tax and why it is a threat to your business. Uh, if you don't think so, think again. I mean, the myth most business owners believe is that they don't have to worry about sales tax after they first open their business. They go down, get their resales, they get their sales tax permit, um, they discuss with somebody there the rules, and they set up their procedures and believe that as long as they pay their sales tax every month, they're fine, all right? why this myth is a problem. Well, in a word, audits, all right? My clients have been audited at a higher rate than at any other time in the last 20 years. Uh, in Texas, we went through a period where the budget had been sliced, you know, where there wasn't a lot of audits going on. In the early, late 70s, all through the 80s, early 90s, if you had a sales tax permit, you pretty much saw an auditor every four or five years. And during the late 90s, 2000s, you know, you just didn't see them. So people got lax, all right? Then they showed up with a vengeance. Local offices expanded dramatically from like, we didn't have one. They were coming in from San Antonio to over 20 auditors, all right? Um, the truth successful business owners learned the hard way. Sales tax audits are a bigger threat to your business survival than almost anything else, all right? You get an IRS audit, you owe balance. You got a lot of rights and, and things you can do. You can delay it, you can appeal it, you can get an offer and compromise. State of Texas, and a lot of most states are like this, state of Texas doesn't play games. You owe them money, they can shut you down. It's as simple as that. They can seize your bank account, they can come into your place, take money straight out of the till and say, give it to us, it's ours. Because that's the way they look at it. You collected money from the client, you're holding it, you're supposed to turn it over, all right? The problem is sales tax rules are very, very complicated. And I've had audits, we've gone through a few recently that you know went from a no change, which is highly rare, to 20, 30, 50,000. Had some in the past were well over 100,000. These people thought they were doing things right, okay? Of course, after appeal, we paid less than 100,000, but not that much less. I mean, we work with the auditor and get it done as low as we can. So what is the lesson learned? As a business owner, it's your responsibility to, to do a threat assessment annually. And what part of that threat assessment should be sales tax. You need to learn the sales tax laws, hire somebody, you don't need to do this crap. All right, that apply to your business and do a self audit to determine your potential exposure. It's better to correct it. If you find that you're $20,000, $30,000 down, you can make your own payment plan, throw in an extra $1,000 a month. So when they come and audit you, you can go, look, I found this. Yeah, we've been paying extra this. All right, don't take, don't, don't slap up, you know, don't fall asleep on this. Oh, my mind went away there for a minute. <laughs> Don't fall asleep on this. It's important that you get this right. Sales tax audits are a serious threat. They don't play around. You can get a payment plan, but it's not that easy. And it can still be very expensive. It can be a threat to your business. Hey, until next time, this is Wayne Blau saying let's make this our most profitable year ever and let's pay the lowest taxes allowed by law. <laughs> Thank you very much.